Queen Stairs, and this is where royalty and prominent dignitaries arrived at the Tower of London. It was here in 1533, during June 1533, where Anne Boleyn arrived two days before her coronation. In a procession of boats or small barges, they proceeded from Greenwich along the River Thames. It was a scene of pomp and pageantry. She was escorted by city dignitaries, noblemen, and religious leaders. We have to remember that Tower Bridge didn't exist during the Tudor period. It was built between 1886 and 1894 during the Victorian era. So as Anne Boleyn was being taken down the River Thames from Greenwich Palace to the Tower of London, just around the corner of the, or the bend in the river, there's whopping and there, there was a, a, a gun salute as she arrived. As she arrived past or approached or past the tower gate or saturator's gate, there was another gun salute. And Henry VIII made renovations during the previous year and in anticipation for his marriage to Anne Boleyn and uh, the coronation, and he ordered the strengthening of the roof of this tower, which is called St Thomas's Tower, which is immediately above Traitor's Gate. And them two timbers can still be seen inside the castle, and that was to accommodate the heavy guns that would be positioned on that on that on, on, on that roof. And uh, the yeah, salute was fired as, as Anne Boleyn arrived. Now Anne Boleyn arrived in a barge that was once owned by Henry X's first wife, Queen Catherine of Aragon. Anne Boleyn ordered that Catherine's emblems be stripped and her own emblems be um, added to the barge. Shupui, the Imperial Ambassador, reported to his boss, Emperor Charles V, that despite, he, he commented that despite the scenes of pageantry and, and the, the, the happiness displayed on the, on the barges, the scene along the, the banks of the River Thames was quite different. The people were rather solemn. He even writes in his report to Charles V that it resembled a funeral because Anne Boleyn didn't have the support um, that Queen Catherine of Aragon did. Um, he also intimated in that report that the people of England were hoping that Emperor Charles V would lead an army and invade England to overthrow Henry VIII in order to stop him, um, stop, stop, stop these reformation, you know, his, 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 the acts he was committing against the, the Catholic Church and also to, to, to intervene in this divorce. Um, so Anne Boleyn, she was brought along here, along the River Thames, been obviously been a lot different in them days, there would be probably fields and countryside on the opposite bank. And you can see City Hall, and you can see the Shard. It's a complete transformation to how it looked during the Tudor period. So Anne Boleyn would have been brought alongside the, the stairs. See London Bridge in the distance. There was an old medieval bridge, 30 yards to the east of this bridge in there, in it, on this side, that stretched across the River Thames. That was the only bridge across the uh, River Thames during the Tudor period. And many of those executed um, at Tower Hill, their heads were impaled on pikes and displayed in the center of the bridge as a warning to anyone who wanted, who had any inclinations of defying or challenging the king. So going back to our story of Anne Boleyn, she, she arrived here, disembarked on these steps, and at the top of these steps was the Mayor of London and King Henry VIII. He, he came here to greet her. He, held, he kissed her, held her hand, 
a ladder to the Bywood Tower. This is, this, is, this is the entrance to the Tower of London, which they, they took. And on that night they feasted to a banquet in the, in the Royal, Royal Apartments before they proceeded through the city of London on horseback towards Westminster where there was another night of celebrations and revelry and the day after she was crowned Queen of England. Anne Boleyn made a similar journey from Greenwich three years later in 1536 when Henry wanted to escape from the marriage and was unable to provide him a male heir and he was seeking another wife and tragically she was tried for treason on trumped up charges of adultery with several courtiers and, and, and including an incestuous relationship with her brother George and she was brought brought to these stairs this time Henry VIII was not here to greet her many 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 commentators um, say that she was brought to traitor's gate but she was still queen and some historians have argued that she was brought here to Queen's stairs and instead of being brought by barge into traitor's gate that it's believed that she entered probably through this this gate here she would enter through this gate but she would not leave she was executed several days later and her executed just north of the White Tower and the remains were buried in St Peter Advincula Chapel within within the Tower of London. <laughs>